You see the beautiful lake behind me? Nice, right? Well, we are at our RV park in East Texas. So it is just outside of Kenton, the home for the very famous first Monday. And we have expanded. I did an initial video two years ago. We had four RV spots. Now we are up to 15. One is for our manager, but the other 14 are up for rent. And most of them are already pretty busy. So let me take you around, show you this beautiful place. And if you are interested in renting one of these spots, please let me know in the comments below, or you can contact me in the email in my about page. So this is the lake here with the little pavillon. So my husband here is putting some more fish food because it is full of fish and the girls are here for fishing today. Wanted to check it out, but yeah, here is the lake. Very nice and peaceful very green and as you can see we have some RVs scattered around the lake plenty of space between each one there is no side by side as you can see here so that one has a direct lake view so have these here others is they're just a bit behind but still on that beautiful property so let me take you to the road and to the entrance so this is the entrance right there. You can see we have mailboxes for each resident because we are a long-term RV park. And these here are our four, first four spots. You see a little uh, laundry room over there in the back. We have two, that's for the entrance uh, section. But yeah, our first four spots. As you can see a lot of room and each spot as you can see here on this one has a concrete pad picnic table as well as a little fire pit so very peaceful look at the greeneries you can hear the birds and here going back up we have uh, so our manager sits right there at the top of the little hill and then it's a long road up to the back where we have the second washer dryer room and more spots, some of them overlooking the lake. There. The office right there on top of the little hill and the RV spots. That one is actually the last one we built. So it is finished as such. That one is the only one that does not have a concrete pad, but crushed concrete. But it is equipped just like the other ones with the picnic table and so on. And let me show you the electric setup, given that one is not used yet. So I believe that must be water. But yeah, because we get a lot of questions here on the electric setup. So this is it. And here you've got the two options here. For the electrics so brand new one not yet used but all the others as you will see are pretty busy but once again i mean not next to each other no side by side and extremely peaceful no no neighbor on the other side just sometimes some cows on the other side of the fence but yeah, it's the country while being very close to Kenton and First Monday. Oh, look how peaceful this is here. So that's our site number eight. See the little picnic table, fire here. Look how nice, overlooking the lake. That's a perfect example for the lake view spot. Same here. That one actually has a bit of shade with the picnic table right there. But yeah, look at that view. How peaceful. So here is site number 10 overlooking the lake toward the end of the lake as well. And we are arriving towards the back of the property. It's almost half a mile long road to get to the back. You can see we have uh, a few more RVs nested under the trees. So here, so that's 11. No, actually, which one is 11? Oh, I'm getting lost here. 
I'm getting lost. Well, yeah, 11, 12, 13, and 14 over there. And the little house you see on the side is our washer and dryer. Double one here. It's a bigger room for all the spots we uh, extended. But yes, overall, very, very peaceful. And uh, always the same nice setup. Greenery here overlooking that beautiful lake. I see the girls are fishing over there. <laughs> So I am not taking you inside the washer dryer rooms because it is Sunday today. It's pretty busy. Everybody's home. So I want to leave uh, our residents with some privacy if they're washing clothes. But they are, uh, we have a total of three washers, three dryer, dryers at the RV park and they are free of use. So it's free for the residents, uh, part of the monthly rent. Did you catch anything, Angie? Oh yeah. You got something here. We've caught like two fish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. Stand out there on the point. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, it's catch and release, right? Yeah. Catch and release only here. Oh, Angelie, you already have something? Ooh. Wow, that was Ooh. quick. <laughs> there are so many fishes in that lake. <laughs> yeah, right there. He's a small one, isn't he? Yeah. Right it's a child, you, you think? Get one, you hold your right up. Uh. Oh I wow, she got someone one too over there. Yeah, same one. Okay, come here, let me get my flyer. That one looks a tiny bit bigger. Yeah. Keep it yeah, keep it alive in the water until daddy's ready for release. <laughs> As you can see, the, f the pond here, the lake is fully stocked, lots of fishes. The only rule is that you catch, but you have to release. But yeah, quite a fun activity, especially for the kids. It takes them less than a minute to get a fish. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as well. And thank you all for watching. If you want to know more about our RV park, please let us know.